What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the gas station. It's pretty late tonight. Um, but I wanted to put this video together. Hopefully you guys find it interesting. Um, I know a lot of people would like to do something like this. Um, this is just a, a map that's already put together for the bike. And I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. I've been tweaking it, but um, anyways, the story is, um, so I got all this on the bike. The original guy that dynoed it um, the first time did all this, but then I've been, ever since I went there, I had problems, and he's like the best tuner in the area, so I just kind of went to go check his um, work, I guess. So if I go over here to the ignition, and this is the original one. Um, I have it set up as um, Power Commander original map. This is the Power Commander 5. Um, and so I'm just showing you what he has on the original map. I've done a couple of maps since then, rode the bike, and now I'm just here to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing now. So, with that said, I hope you guys like the video. Please like and subscribe. You know the deal. I appreciate it a lot. So take that time to please subscribe. Anyways, here we go. I got this um, Power Commander 5. The map is opened up. We're on the Cylinder 1. This is Cylinder 2. Got Cylinder 1, Cylinder 2, and you have fuel on both sides of them. And that's kind of what he mapped out. Um, now if I go to the ignition, that's right here, you can see that everything zeroed out. So the timing on the ignition is zeroed out and that means it's stock, it's never been changed or anything. And for me that's a problem. If you're a tuner you would think that he would mess with it at least a little bit. See if he could get some more horsepower out of it or turn it down whatever needs to be done so I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm doing but when I seen this I knew we had to change a few things so my biggest problem is I'm having problem down low um, first gear 1500 RPMs you know putting out of the driveway it really shakes the house and I just don't like the way that it feels when I leave um, if I'm trying to leave hard or add them at a red light or something, it always just kind of feels really clunky, not that fast, or it just doesn't like to go f slow. So I just always chalked it up to that. Anyways, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here. I'm going to go to the cylinder one, fuel. And we're gonna check the fuel ratio here. So what we have is you can see down low, he was having problems also, you can see, with it being down low. You can see that he was trying to pull fuel out, negative 15, negative 23, negative um, 18 there. And this first column can definitely stay at zeros because it's zero position on throttle position. But you would just, if you're having problems, you need to turn the timing up or retard the timing a little bit. But as far as fuel, it doesn't really need to not have the fuel. And I have a bigger piston in there, so I don't think retarding the fuel or whatever would be a good idea. Anyway, so this is probably gonna be all zeros. Um, I'll show you guys what I kind of did on the my um, other one, but this is a throttle position up here. This is the percent in throttle position, zero, one, two, and then you have 80% and 100% throttle. Then you have the RPMs over here. So let me go open up another map that I had been working on. Here's a, let's see which one. So you see what I did here is 
on the fuel it's zeroed out all the way down from zero to two percent throttle position and then as soon as it goes up to five to ten percent throttle position I change it a little bit now I don't I didn't I just changed this right here to zeros from what it was before but I didn't change any of the mapping so all these numbers right here what I'm gonna end up doing is just making them closer together so if it's five if it's five right here but the next one's 20 I might make this 10 and then make this one 15 to get them a, a more of a smoother a smoother the number because you don't want the percentages to be off too much so I have to go through all these and just try to clean up anything that's kind of abnormal um, for the most part it seems okay but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more um, like where it goes negative and then all of a sudden 16 to 18 you know or negative and then to zero like that probably doesn't need to be there so um, we're just gonna clean them up a little bit to make it not the numbers not jump so high in percentages from each other and um, what I did over here this is the uh, this is um, the one that I had worked on I think I have this one in my bike right now so right here at 1000 rpm where the bikes idling I've retarded it the timing a little bit to make it uh, run a lot better down low which it did that and then I retarded it a little bit on 2% um, all the way over to what is that 2000 rpms which isn't that much rpm so I'm holding the camera right now which is kind of hard to pay attention and do this all at the same time but so what I did is I retarded it over here where it's there's not that much fuel going inside and there's not that many RPMs where I needed it down low to just calm down a little bit and then up high where there's 80 to 100 I actually increased the timing and then it goes to five and then back to three so what I did is I increase the timing and then decrease the timing where it gets up into the max RPM range at 80% to 100% throttle position and the bike runs a lot better but I think I have it set too lean uh, over here a little bit so I'll probably set these to zero and I think I'm gonna add some numbers here but this is a this is the one that I'm running in the bike right now so I know it's extraordinarily hard to see but messing with your ignition like you have to not mess with it too much because you don't want to blow up your bike but you need to kind of know what's going on so you know I was having a problem with too much fuel it felt like down low you can see the guy try to pull out a bunch of fuel and so what I did is I just went and retarded it and then made the fuel back to zero down low so and it runs a lot better and then I added timing up high but um oops But uh, I got a couple of maps that I've made so far and the reason why I added over here is because I have this other map. We'll open this other map.
this is the other map that I had and I had retarded it up high I retarded it down low I retarded it and it was running a lot better but then when I went into high position you know max throttle um, it wasn't running as fast as it would now the bike runs like a scalding cat so it's just all about playing with your numbers um, but you don't want to go too much and you can see down here where it gets like max RPM I just I go down so I went it's all negative on here but on the um, you just don't want to at max RPMs you don't want to have it like too low or too high unless you absolutely have to have it but as far as my bike um, we'll go back to that map that I just had open this is the one that I currently have on my bike and these are pluses so I didn't retard it these ones are pluses so then it I kept it the same over here but what I did is I kind of played with it right here and then started adding to it and um, a higher RPM um, throttle position and the bike runs uh, the bike runs fucking really fast right now so I'm just messing with this stuff because I got a race in a couple weeks and I'm just trying to get a good map in there but as far as the original guy that worked on it uh, kind of um, not happy with that because he didn't even mess with anything and I told him right when I left I called him and I said yo I'm I'm having a problem with leaving stop signs and stuff it feels like it's dumping fuel and he said well I don't know what to do about it he tried to minus the fuel as you've seen you know over here there was a bunch of minuses and stuff on the fuel but I actually added fuel down low I just messed with the timing so I just put zeros instead of minus a bunch of numbers and um yeah so I'm just making map right here so like I said before uh, I kind of like this one I might change it a little bit um, but I kind of like this one and then what I'll do is my f and you really don't know unless you're running it or it's on a dyno so you can see the actual numbers but this is just kind of floating the numbers and so he had a bunch of minuses over here I just zeroed it out I zeroed the second column out at um, two percent throttle position and then I start playing this these are his numbers that he had I didn't even mess with them yet all I'm gonna do is come in here and clean them up get them kind of closer to each other if there's any abnormal ones um, but it looks pretty good as far as now that I'm looking at it now uh, I might change a couple numbers but my timing is um, the ignition timing is what my biggest concern was here so that's what I got going on right now that's what I'm working on um, if anybody get, wants to know more about this um, reach out ask questions and I'll get back to you but because of the camera and because of holding it it doesn't seem like I can do everything all at the same time and it doesn't look that good so I'm gonna end this one right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start messing um, getting some numbers uh, I might have two or three maps that I, that I would like to have so then if I race, if I lose a race then I can, you know, put the next one on and see how I, how I do then. But um, that's what I got going on right now and, and because of the timing in 80% to 100% throttle position, the bike feels way better. But um, that's kind of what I have right here down low retarded the timing a little bit and then gradually let it go um, a little bit higher and then start adding timing with RPM and throttle position and then start retarding it again so it doesn't wind too high up and blow the motor out at you know 6500 RPMs or some shit but I usually run it at about 4,700 RPMs before I shift, and that's just what the bike likes, I guess, when I when I'm running it. But that's what I'm going on with right now. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Um, this is the Power Commander Five. 
a lot of people don't mess with it they don't like it but i'm starting to like it more um with that said i'll see you guys on the next one all right peace